Wednesday morning, 7.20 a.m. Heading in for a breakfast meeting this morning. Hey, for the rest of the day, the book looks pretty busy. I'm not too sure which calls I'm scheduled for yet, but it looks like I'll be out in the field for sure. And just for the record, because I'm feeling a little ranty today, breakfast meetings are the worst. They are so inefficient. They completely mess up your morning. But really, the biggest thing is they just talk about, oh yeah, went to a hockey game. Yep, oh yeah, cows are doing real good. I get that relationship building is important. I would just like to do it in a different setting and not in the guise of a breakfast meeting because breakfast meetings, oh, not efficient. Breakfast meeting is over, went really good. This one was exceptional and very efficient. So you never know. Heading back to the office for another meeting. And then I have some calls to do this morning and it is snowy and the roads are bad. We are doing a semen test on a bull. This is a retest. He had uh, lots of DMRs or distal mid-piece reflexes on his last semen test. He came out of a pasture that had poor conception than was expected at preg check. That's why we are, uh, we're gonna go do that. And there's also a preg test on 30 head of cows. God bless ranchers in gated communities. And the first cow's already in the chute. Right there. So for today's vlog, I was going to go over a review of the semen test kit because I did a semen test in a bull, but Sienna said that that was really boring. So what Sienna and I have actually been working on all afternoon is I've been sending out emails and she's been bothering me with feet tests. So we do, we have a feet testing package at our clinic where Sienna will go out there and take samples and send those off to lab. Do you have an analysis sheet? Where's the lab? For example, so here we have the analysis we get from the lab. So we have different things like moisture, dry matter content, protein, all of the minerals, nitrates, and then the digestible energy. And then we take that information and we balance it in a program called Cow Bites. So that's what Sienna and I have been doing all day. So she enters that feed. So we build a custom report for each producer that wants it. So she types that in and then she balances it for three different stages of production. Depending on the production stage, it'll really change what the requirements are. So we enter what the animal is. We enter how much feed they're going to be eating based off of their recommended and the dry matter intake. And then we look at the bottom and we try to balance it. So we can see with that one, calcium and phosphorus ratio was out a little bit. Mm, net energy maintenance is pretty good. They're gonna maintain their body weight. Calcium, the phosphorus, like I said, was out. We don't have a mineral in that. We don't have mineral in yet. So we'll keep balancing that. Sienna's a pro at it. Really good. What's the biggest issue we've been having? This year, uh, some nitrate, high nitrates, and guys not seeing a lot of hay, so the calcium phosphorus ratio is off. So lots of our guys have been feeding green feeds, swaths, millet, brassica, all things that they can kind of stockpile forage in out on pasture without having to bale it and then we're balancing on top of that. So to fix those problems, the nitrates, uh, diluting that out with lower nitrate feeds, with the calcium problems we've been adding mineral mixes or 
doing custom mineral formulations. What other problems do you have? Uh, cows in lactation often will need more mm -hmm. energy, so we're balancing for energy and adding things like barley to improve that. Or in young animals, the calves, uh, the protein's hard to do because it can't eat that much to get enough protein. Good stuff. This episode is sponsored by Tannis Ranches. Tannis Ranches, your source for premium Black Angus genetics, west of the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a uh, father, will your daughters breed quicker? No. <laughs> That'll be locked up. <laughs> so it's not a scrotal circumference problem? <laughs> <laughs>